Hi, this is Sheshanan. I am from Aerotech Solutions. We will deal with training, embedded system training and placement programs. And we are in development also and we will provide projects and solutions related to small scale or academic. So we will deal with different level projects. So now I am explaining simple project based on microcontroller which is LCD interfacing writing embedded C program using keyer and I'm going to simulate output with Proteus. I'll explain how to create a project using keyer microvision select project tab and choose the option new microvision project So I am trying to save all my programs in one specific folder which is Aerotech Solutions channel. So now I am writing my project name as LCD Interfacing. And after giving project name click on save tab. And this window for choosing microcontroller from different manufacturers. Anyway, Keel Microvision supports for different microcontroller families from different manufacturers. So, including every manufacturer, whatever they given here, using this Keel Microvision, you can develop embedded C programs. Now, select your microcontroller. So, now I am working with my admin. Choose a manufacturer as admin and click on plus mark. It will show the list of devices from this manufacturer. And choose a specific device which is AT89C51. It will show the internal features. From block diagram, you can find out how much of memory it will support, how many timers, how many interrupts, how much of flash memory. Everything you can watch on this description box. After choosing your microcontroller as AT89C51, click on OK. So this window is again startup code warning which follows all the default values of registers and memory locations. If you want to click yes, you can or else you can click on no, there is no issue with this adding project. Now I am proceeding with no. So till now you created a project with a specific target device which is from Atmel and device is 889C51. Now to write a program you need to open editor window. To open editor window go file tab and choose option new. This is the text editor here you can attempt writing programs. Now I'm writing my LCD interfacing program. So I'll give name as 16 crops to LCD interfacing. Provided by Aerotech Solutions. Now I'll begin my declarations and header files. So anyway, 5.1 families have a standard header file which is reg51.h. And as per LCD hardware, you need to do some declarations as control lines where you are connecting from hardware. There are three control lines: RS, RW, and enable pins. So now I decided to connect these pins with P1.0 pin from controller and RW pin with P1.1 and enable pin with P1.2. And what about data lines from LCD hardware? The data lines I am giving to entire port as so you can declare SFR data type or else you can directly assign your values to IO ports and 
I'm using standard functions for passing LCD commands with the argument type which is character so all command size is one byte so that I am taking argument type is character so next another function I am taking which is data to pass one character to data lines again another function is with data and anyway you need to maintain some time delay between enable operations I'll use this delay function so these are the three user defined functions I am using in my main program let's start main So coming to LCD, you have to provide some basic commands to initialize the LCD screen, which are 38H and 01H, 10H, 80 for making cursor first line first position like this, you have a separate commands list from LCD. Still you need those commands, I'll show you it in a word document. I saved somewhere this LCD commands list. So these are my LCD commands. You should know this LCD commands meaning and what happens if you pass related command to LCD. So even these commands which are available on Google source, no issue with this, you can download directly. Okay, so from this you are using specific commands like for display on and cursor position right and display on cursor blinking so display on cursor off and 38 you need to initiate all the crystals and from where you need to start your cursor position for all different requirements you have to understand these commands so these commands I am using in my keel programming so let's see this program all data lines in my hardware I am just given to port 3 but remember while passing command you should take care of your control lines logic RS logic should be 0 if you are writing to LCD screen make sure RW logic as 0 and for every command or data you have to make your enable pin high to low ones So this is the first command to initiate all the 5 by 7 matrix crystals from LCD. The next necessary command is 0x, 0c or 0e or 0f depends on you. The cursor may be blinking or cursor may be off but display on is mandatory for your application. Again this is also command but if you are changing your command value to data lines you have to make sure enable high to low every time the next command again you have to clear it for this deciding your cursor position now I am giving 85 for first line sixth position and Again, this is another command. Make sure your enable pin high to low. So, if you don't want write all this, you can use 
disposable command function or data function so if you want to replace the every time I am repeat writing repeated lines so that to avoid this I'll simply use LCD command at 38 and next LCD command 0x0c see the functions how they helps to reduce the program size and again the another command is lcd command 0x85 and all this description i will give in this command function now i will take data function with a character still if you want to display your cursor position to right you have to give the command value as 0x10 from commands list so this is for shifting your cursor position to right if you are expecting more characters now we'll use the same function to pass the next character and get it you can copy and paste so that from fifth position you start display on LCD screen continuous data and giving one by one so now I'll go with these functions so as void whatever the command we are passing from main program you need to read it through a temporary variable val and give the definition for proper function the given argument which is assigned with port 3 but whenever you are assigning commands make sure your rs logic is 0 so that lcd treats it is a command and enable pin high and delay enable pin delay so now Whenever you are using this LCD command function in program, so it is going to execute. The next function I am using LCD dat. Again, this function argument you need to read it from pro main program and you have to assign with these data lines. But remember the control line logic is 1 or its logic is 1 and again still I am doing right operation so that RW logic is 0 and the next delay function so I am using self for loop concept here to generate a time delay by using integer data type So this is my program to display basic text on LCD screen using embedded C program. After writing program in editor window, select target 1 from project workspace window and click on this plus mark. It will show you source group 1. And before this, just go with file tab and choose option saved. So you need to save this program with .c extension. So I just given already project name, but the program name which requires .c extension. 
So I just saved this program with dot C. And now select your source group one and right click it and choose the option add files to source group one. Now what is the program you need to add with this target which is LCD interfacing. Select your file and click on add option and close it. So once the file is added you will get plus mark with source group. If you want to check errors and warnings present with this program go project tab and choose option build target or else you can click this shortcut button. which is C and D. Again, build it, rebuild, so that now I don't have errors and warnings present in this program. This program you can easily understand. Say I'm giving suitable commands for proper display and then I'm just started sending text to LCD screen. So now try to create this program equivalent hex file by following these options select target one and choose the option options for target target one here you need to set your crystal oscillator frequency connected for your hardware board which is 11.0592 and just highlight this use on chip memory option and in the same window select output tab and highlight this create hex file option now click on OK. After giving all these options, again rebuild. Now it will show the hex file name with the project name. Now minimize your programming tool and open your simulation tool. So this simulation tool, anyway, it helps to check your hardware outputs with the help of software. So now I'm taking suitable devices from the simulation tool as microcontrollers. So it is a library based tool. If you want to add more libraries for more microcontrollers, you can add it. So by default, there are uh, many controllers which are already available on this library. PIC microcontrollers, 8051, Arduino families, LPC family. So there are more microcontrollers you can work by using this simulation tool. So now you can choose your individual sizes here by reading this description section from LCD. Select your device and double click on it, it will come to the list. Now close your component selection window. Now place your components individually on this design and according to your program you need to do hardware connections think so we just treated the hardware connections with control lines as RS P1.0 pin from program and RW is P1.1 and enable is P1.2 and we have data lines connections with port 3 from program so that I'm giving eight data lines connections with port 3. Now I done all my hardware connections this device. Let's try to link your hex file which is created from Keel Microvision which is present in my D drive, my channel menu, projects and LCD interfacing. Select your hex file and open it and give the same clock frequency how much you selected from Keel Microvision as 11.0. After setting your clock frequency, click on OK. So let's play your simulation. So I'll 
check with my program Is giving small time delay between each command and data. Let's do the output. So this is the text display. You will get it on screen. This is the program. You can test your even different peripherals interfacing like keypads, displays, motors, sensors. You can add different libraries which is produced and you can check your output and you can proceed with hardware so still if you are looking for so any doubts regarding these projects follow so our channel which is youtube on erotic solutions and give your valuable comments and feedback we can improve ourselves and try to reach us with this address from hyderabad we are located in KPHB and any project related things and any training related queries so please contact with this number or email us thanks for watching